Alright guys, welcome back to a brand new Roblox Stream tutorial, and in today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make a voting system in Roblox Studio. So as you can see here, I just started the game up, and it says 11 seconds left to vote, and I have three pads to choose from. I have pad 1, pad 2, pad 3, and if I press on any of these little pads right here, it'll add to the vote. So as you can see here, I'll press on this one, and boom one on pad one and as you can see it already says pad one got the most votes so pad one won all right now let's wait a second and as you can see there it goes back to it and now there's eight seconds left to vote so let's go ahead and pick another one like pad two and as you can see it changes and pad two got the most votes all right awesome so it works just fine and also if you have a server with your friends or whatever it'll work just fine as well but obviously I i'm all alone i have no one to test it with but it's fine it's fine <laughs> okay anyways um so yeah let's go ahead and get started into this video uh, I'll, see you I'll teach you guys how to make this. Alright, um, also guys, I apologize for the lack of upload recently. Uh, I haven't uploaded in a while. I was actually sick, um, possibly with the, you know, the thing that's going around right now. I don't know, but I'm not going to get too much into it. If you want to know more about that, go on my Twitter. It'll be linked in the description. Alright, anyways, how do we do this? Let's go ahead and start. Alright, so what do we do uh, to make this? Alright, so first things first, obviously we want to build our little thing, right? We want to build the um, like the little display thing. And also guys, whenever you see this too, just know that you can always change the stuff that says on this. You know, you can always change it to like whatever you want to make it. You know, like if it's a map voting system or if it's like a, a game mode voting system. Wherever you want to be, you can always change this stuff, so don't worry. Alright, anyways, so what we're going to go ahead and do is make the little wall that we're going to put our pad votes on whatever we want to call it so we're gonna make a little wall right here and then we'll make it like blue okay and then also we need to make our little pads real quick so I'll go ahead and just make these pretty simple stuff just a flat square and then control D to duplicate duplicate it three times and actually these are kind of small but uh, yeah they're kind of small I'll make it a little bigger alright there you go and there we go alright we got three pads and then actually let me change it a little bit darker color maybe uh, okay alright and then we're gonna put a surface GUI onto this thing right here uh, because obviously we want to put the display on there and then we need to make sure it's on the right side uh, we didn't turn it for two yet okay and now let's see where that is okay that's on the back okay so we need to change the face of that to the back to put that on the back side of it um, or we actually just could rotate it twice like that and that works too. All right, and then we're gonna go ahead and make that full. Uh, so we're gonna make that cover the whole thing. So let's go ahead and do one and then one. Okay, so yeah, I'm making the scale one on both on the X and the Y axis. And then we're gonna go ahead and insert, insert a thing to make it actually say, you know, the pad one stuff so we'll insert a header into here uh, oh, we need to make one for okay wait actually never mind don't make that thing full <laughs> make it so it's uh, just point three uh, of the y or point three of the x-axis because as you can see here it's gonna cover about a third of it and we're making three pads so yeah you also you want to make more voting um, things like you can vote with like four pads or whatever you can that works too. Alright, anyway, so I'm going to insert a frame in there just to make that 0.33, just to take up only a third of that. And then I'm going to insert a text label, and then another one actually. I'm going to need two of them. Um, actually, I'll keep one for now. Alright, and then I'm going to go ahead and just make this, the offset of that zero, scale of that. Uh, well, actually, I'll make the x of that one, and the scale of that about 0.25 maybe. Um, oh, wait, crap, 0.25. And then actually I'll do 0.15. Okay. And then I'm gonna go ahead and make that bigger. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit text scaled and then change this to pad one, whatever you want to name it. And then I'll change the fonts. Okay. And then also, um, actually I don't like that one. Oh, I'm bold. Alright, that's good. Alright, and then what I'm gonna do is rename this real quick to a header and then make another one. Do control D to duplicate. And then I'm going to put this down in the position. I'm going to move this down to the position. I'm going to move it down uh, on the, on the y-axis uh, 15 by scale because that's how big it is on the, on the x-axis or on the y-axis. Um, so then we're going to make that bigger, obviously. So we're going to change the size of this to 0.85 because that's you know out of 1. Uh, and then there we go. And then we're going to go ahead and put the text of this to just 0. And then we're going to rename this to uh, counter. Okay, and then we're going to go ahead and rename this to uh, pad 1, 
just like this. Make sure you make sure you make a spelling right because it might mess up some stuff. So make sure everything's spelled correctly, uh, like with the capitalization and stuff. And then we're gonna go ahead and duplicate this thing through twice, and then we're gonna name that one pad two, this one pad three, and then obviously we need to move it around. So then we're gonna go ahead and go to pad two, add a third of the scale to it. Um, oh wait, crap, that's size. Uh, to the position, add a third to the x-axis. So 0.33. There we go. And then for this one, this is gonna be 0.66. And there we go, pretty simple. And then we have a little extra room right here, which is kind of annoying, but if you want to get rid of that, uh, you, you can, but I'm not going to be bothered to do it. <laughs> All right, anyways, so what we need to go ahead and do now is make these, uh, we're going to rename this to um, pad one. Actually, yeah, rename this one to pad one, and then this one to, oh wait, crap, I don't want to mix that up. <laughs> okay, this one's pad one, and then this one will be pad two, and then this one will be pad three. Okay, and then we're going to go ahead and put this all in a big group, uh, and then it'll be good. Also, let me read this to like a voting display, that part with the display. Okay, and then we're going to put this all in a big group, and then it'll be good. All right, uh, so now that we have that, we're going to go ahead and read it out to the voting system, and that way we have it all grouped together, and we don't have to, you know, play with it and, you know, stuff like that. All right, cool. All right, so now what we're going to go ahead and do is get to scripting. All right, so first things first, we need to actually make a system for it to... Um, make the votes right for it to count the votes um so how we're going to do this is we're going to make the system to count the votes right and whenever whenever they touch one of the things it's going to add to the total votes and also i forgot one thing now um make sure you add an int value inside all your things right here um int value and then call this votes that way it'll keep track of all the votes that that pat has gotten uh so let me just go ahead and copy that and then paste that into there and into there. Okay, so make sure you put an in value in there called votes and then set the value to zero, but it, it'll already be zero. But just make sure you call it votes. Uh, yeah, so make sure you have everything set up like I do, or else it won't work correctly. <laughs> so yeah, that's how it looks. Pause the video if you need to. All right, anyways, so now what we're going to go ahead and do is go ahead and start scripting. All right, so like I said, it'll all match up uh, with that. All right, and then actually, never mind, never mind. Well, actually, yes. Okay. One more thing I need to do is actually in replicated storage, add a another thing called int value, and we're gonna call this one um, done voting, and then we're going to call another one. We're gonna duplicate this. Another add or no? Okay. I'm I'm getting silly. Okay. Make an int value called time left, and then we're gonna make a boolean value, uh, which is like a true or false thing, and then we're gonna call that one done voting. Yes. Okay. Sorry. Okay. Done voting. All right. Perfect. All right. So now what we're going to go ahead and do is leave that both how it is, and then we should be good. Okay. All right. Now we get into scripting, finally. All right. So let's go ahead and go to our server subscribers, and then we're going to rename this to... Actually, we'll keep the script. Okay. Who cares? All right. So now what we need to do is obviously start scripting, <laughs> and we need to find a few things like our voting system, clearly. So we'll do local voting system is equal to game.workspace voting system. Uh, we'll do local pad one is equal to voting system. Wait for child. Or actually, I'm going to wait for child there, too. Wait for child voting system. Okay. And then we're going to go ahead and do that same thing. We're going to define all the pads in here. That way we have them. So let me just copy and paste this. No, no point in wasting any time. Uh, and then just change the numbers on that. There we go. Uh, okay. And then we're going to go ahead and find replicated storage because we're going to need those two variables that we put in there or two, two values. So game get service replicated storage uh, local time left is equal to replicated storage wait for child time left and then obviously our other one done voting local done voting is equal to replicated storage wait for child done voting there we go all right and now what we're gonna go ahead and do is add one more thing which is actually we're gonna do it manually but. We're going to go ahead and create an event um, when players add it. And what we're going to do actually is add a int value in there, uh, or actually a, a string value, which is going to uh, tell us what the player is currently voting for. Because we're going to need, we're going to, need to check that whenever they, you know, they move and stuff. So we're going to do local vote is equal to instance.new. And then we're going to do string value. And then we're going to do vote.name uh, is equal to, obviously, vote. <laughs> Uh, and then we're going to make the vote.parent equal to the player. And then we're going to make the vote.value equal to currently NA. Just so that way we know, like, you know, that means not available, I guess. But you could make it, I guess, nil. But I just, I did NA. Just keep it like NA. Uh, and that'll work fine. All right. Then we're going to go ahead and 
creates the okay we actually hmm okay all right <laughs> I'm trying to think in which order we should write the code that'll make most sense and like you know not confuse you guys um but we'll probably do it yeah okay I will right, we'll, we'll just write the functions okay so what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna write a function which is gonna calculate the winner okay so we're gonna do local function calculate winner and basically what's gonna happen is um we're going to define all of the votes that we got, and we're going to call this function whenever the, the whenever the voting is done. We're going to call the function, and then it'll give us like it'll do like a little algorithm thing to um, check to see which one is the highest number, right? And now obviously there's a couple ways to do that, but I I'll show you what I did, which is, it's pretty simple. It's like five lines. Okay, so what I'm going to do real quick is define the actual uh, votes value. So we're going to go ahead and do pad one dot votes dot value um, because obviously we need the value of the votes. So we're going to copy and paste that and get the value for each vote and put it into a table. There we go. And then let me make sure that's not like that. There we go. Okay. And then we're going to go ahead and make a variable here called um, highest. Okay. So local highest is equal to zero. And wait a minute. Don't tell me. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Local highest is equal to zero. And then we're going to do 4i comma v in pairs pad pad votes yeah because we made the table and then we're gonna do if v is greater than highest then v, okay highest is equal to v um and <laughs> okay i'm gonna explain this in one second so if you don't get it don't worry and also make another variable up here called local pad and set it to equal to nil and then we're going to do um and in here we're gonna do uh pads equal to i and then we're going to return pad okay there we go all right and actually i just realized that we're actually not using this in this script but it's fine we'll use it later because we're going to need it in another script but basically what this function little does right here is um basically okay so it this this right here this line of code it checks to see which vote is the greatest number and there's really no easy way to do that i think you could actually sort the table by greatest to leadest or great greatest to least Greatest, greatest to leastest. I don't, I don't want to know. I don't know what I'm saying, but least to greatest, and you probably could do that, but I, I just did it this way. And basically, what I'm doing is I'm looping through this whole table, right, which should have the value of our votes, and then I'm checking to see if that current value that we're looping through is greater than the highest number so far. So it'll say, okay, pad one value uh, is equal to you know uh, zero. And then the highest value so far is equal to zero. So then no, it's not. So then it'll end out of this, and then it won't set anything. But let's say pad one is equal to. Um, let's say pad one has two votes, or let's say let's say pad one has one vote, right? So pad one has one vote, and um, it goes okay. Well, one is greater than zero because like the highest currently is zero, right? That's what we set it to. Uh, so okay, one is greater than zero. So then the highest is now equal to one, right? That's what we're doing. We're setting the highs equal to one, and then it, and then we're setting okay. The best pad so far is equal to i, which is the name of the pad, right? Because that's the key. Um, so yeah. All right, and then it'll do the, it'll do it again, and then it'll say okay. Well, this pad has two votes. Um, so it'll do okay. Well, if two is greater than one, well then the new highest one, and the new highest number is two, and the new pad is this. So that makes sense. I hope it does. Um, so that's how that works. If that makes sense, it, it actually kind of took me a little bit to understand that too for some reason. Uh, and, and I, I wrote this code. <laughs> I didn't know how to get the greatest number, so I had to figure that out. But anyways, all right. So, um, so yeah, actually keep that there. All right. So then we're gonna go ahead and make a function which is going to update the display. Okay. So um, whenever we move, uh, we want it to update the display. So we'll just go ahead and make a function to do that. So we'll just do. I'm gonna okay. We're gonna do a lot of copy and pasting right here, but this really could have been done in a table, which I should have done. But I just at the time I just did it like this. Um, so I'm just gonna I'm gonna do how I remember. Um, but basically what we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna do local pad one counter is equal to voting system dot voting display dot surface gui dot pad one dot counter. So basically what I just did, I know it was a lot of a lot of a lot of children there, but what I did is I went to the voting system, I went to the voting display, I went to the service GUI, and then I went to the pad one, and then I went to the counter. You know, we we want to get the counter. Um, and then I'm gonna go ahead and actually, you know what? I'm not gonna make a variable there, there's no point really. Uh, there you go. And then we're gonna set the text equal to pad one. 
dot votes dot value. Okay, so what we just did, is basically, like I said, this function, what it's going to do is cause it's just, all it's going to do is update the display. Um, so what we're doing, all we're doing is just setting the counter equal to the votes value, uh, which is right here, right? Because we're going to change that soon. Uh, so what I'm going to do is copy and paste this right quick, and then it'll be good. So there we go. Copy and paste. Okay. All right. Perfect. Also, sorry if I was far from the mic. Okay. Uh, make sure you make that all good. Make sure, you know, pad two is equal to pad two votes value. All right. So then we're going to go ahead and... I can start writing the code where it touches like the part and stuff. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do for i comma pad in pairs uh, game dot workspace dot voting system get children. Okay, and then we're gonna do if pad dot name uh, pad dot name is not equal to voting display, uh, then we're good. All right. All right, so if pad on name is not equal to voting display, then uh, you know we want we want to check this, and we're gonna do pad dot touched uh, connect function hits. Okay, so what we're doing is we're checking, we're looping through the you know the voting system, and then we're gonna do if it's not named that right, because obviously we, we don't want to actually make it so if they touch the voting display, it doesn't matter. Uh, we want to make sure they touch the pads, then we want to check that and then update accordingly. Okay, so then we're gonna do if hit dot parent. Uh, because you know we put that little parameter hit uh, find first child humanoid then a uh, humanoid then there you go and what this is doing obviously is just checking to see if the player touched it or if it was a player that touched it uh, and we're gonna do local char is equal to hit dot parent that's the character uh, and then we're gonna do local players you would have game dot players get player from character char okay and then we're gonna do if player dot vote dot value is not equal to pad so basically what we're doing is we're saying okay if the player is not already stepping on this pad then we want to change the, the player vote value okay so um, remember that vote we had up here we're, ch we're checking to see if they're already clicking on it because what we did is we're looping through and we're saying if a pad is touched then do this stuff and if the player if the pad is touched if the player is not already voting for it then what we're gonna do is add one to the vote Right, so we're gonna do pads dot pad dot votes dot value is equal to pad dot votes dot value plus one, and then we're gonna do if player dot vote dot value is not equal to na right, because we're checking to see. So okay, so if it's if the player about vote value is not voted yet, so if they're not if they haven't voted at all yet, um, then what we're gonna do is do pad. Okay, so. No, no, so if they, yes, so we're, we're making sure they haven't voted, or we're making sure they, crap, okay, we're making sure they have voted, so if it, as long as, you know, they're not equal to NA, the, the value, that means they voted, right, because that means they, they accept on something, so we're going to do local pad to subtract, subtract is equal to voting system, find first child, player dot vote dot value, okay, and then we're going to do pad to subtract, dot votes dot value is equal to pad to subtract dot votes dot value okay so there we go we're good uh, minus one all right so we subtracted from it right uh, if that makes any sense I hope that makes sense we're just you know subtracting the votes right we're subtracting the vote I I'm, I'm even getting confused reading this myself <laughs> we're subtracting from the pad that the player was previously voting on okay uh, and then we're gonna do obviously we make the player dot vote dot value equal to the new pad name okay um, we want to we want to do that clearly uh, uh, so player dot vote dot value is equal to pad dot name and then we're gonna do obviously we want to update the display as well so if they you know if the values have changed we want to update the display so if they touched all right cool all right awesome so now we have that working it's gonna it's gonna update all our values accordingly so now what we want to do is go ahead and create a function to actually have a little timer which is going to give us a little voting round system right uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do spawn function uh, while wait one do if time left dot value is less than or equal to zero then you know that means it's, that means it's uh, you know it finished voting so if finish or if this happened well then done voting is dot value is equal to true uh and then we're gonna wait five seconds for the little five second intermission like say stuff and then we're gonna do time left dot value 
is equal to 10 and then we're going to do done voting dot value is equal to false um so we're going to you know put it back to 10 seconds give them 10 seconds to vote again and then obviously the done voting is equal to false so then we're going to also do down here is we're going to go ahead and whenever you know obviously if it's looping through here every one second right uh, so then we want to, you know, want to, we want to move one second off the time left. So we're going to do time left dot value is equal to time left value minus one. So that makes sense, I hope. Uh, so yeah. All right, cool. So that's almost working. And now we need to add one more quick script, which is going to be a status checker like at the top of our screen right here. And we're going to go ahead and insert a start of GUI. Uh, screen GUI and we're going to call it uh, actually leave, leave the name of screen GUI and then we're going to insert a text label and we're going to call that uh, status and then we're going to make a local script in here oh that's not a local script that's locals there you go alright and then we're going to go ahead and redefine everything we find up there uh, just take copy and paste all this stuff right here just don't waste time copy and paste all that stuff uh, we forgot to copy and paste that. Uh, and then we're going to go ahead and run, define a few more things, though, like the player. Actually, I don't know if we even need the player, so never mind. Uh, but we're going to define the status, which is going to be equal to script.parent dot wait for child status. And also, I didn't even actually mess with the text label. But basically, the text label that we inserted is just going to be like a little status that tells us, you know, who won or whatever. Or But yeah. Uh, and I'll just make the author scale equal to 1. There we go, and then I'll set the background to, or I'll scale the text, change the fonts, uh, and then I'll set the background to, try the background transparency to one, and there we go. I'm sorry, I'm trying to go faster now because I really have to go, uh, yeah, uh, I have to go in a second. <laughs> okay, anyways, all right, all right. So um, then we're gonna go ahead and, uh, actually, I'm a little silly, guys. So what what we what you need to do is copy and paste this function right here. I didn't realize that you know we didn't use it in that script, but just copy and paste that. You know, just press um, you know select it all, and then press Control X, and it'll cut it out of there, and then it'll have it uh, saved to your clipboard, and then you can go ahead and just enter down a few lines, and then copy and paste it down there because uh, we're using it right here. All right, and then all we're gonna do is we're gonna do time left dot changed. So if the time left uh, changed, well then we're gonna connect a function to it. And the function is going to basically, all it's going to do is just change the status. So status.text is equal to time left dot value, you know, concatenate a string called seconds left to, or seconds left to vote. Uh, there we go. So basically what we're doing is we're setting the status equal to the time left dot value. So whatever it's going to be like five, four, three, two, one, and then it'll say five seconds left to vote, right? Makes sense. Uh, okay, perfect. And then we're going to go ahead and make uh, another thing called done voting, and basically, if this is, you know if they're done voting or whatever, uh, so done, if done voting changed, then we're gonna do print, you know, done voting. Well, actually, you don't need to do that, um, but we can go ahead and actually just set the winner equal to the calculated winner, right? Because we need a calculator right here, and then we're gonna do if winner is equal to nil. So basically, um, what's gonna happen is if if they're all tied, if it's if it's everything's tied, right? What's gonna happen is um, it'll be equal to nil. Or, okay, if, if, if none of them get any votes, then it'll be equal to nil, right? It'll never get past zero. So, you know, if V is greater than zero, then, you know, um, do this stuff. But if it if, the, if they're all zero, if they don't get any votes, then it'll be equal to nil. Um, but, yeah, if it's equal to, uh, if, they're, if, they're, if they're actually all equal to one, then it'll pick a random one. Um, so, yeah, but anyways, so if we're going to do if winner is equal to nil, then status.text is equal to it was a tie uh, vote again and there we go um, we really could do it so if it was a tie okay man I <laughs> all right you'll see I guess it, basically if, if you want to make it so uh, like if they get no vote to fix a random map or a random thing then you all you want to do is go ahead and add a little like a little math that random thing uh, and pick one uh, right, so like right here, that's when you do it. But I'm not gonna add that because I originally didn't add that, and I don't think it's that useful. Um, I guess it makes sense, but if you want to add that, you can. Good luck. Uh, it shouldn't be too hard. I mean, it'll be fun for you to figure out, I'm sure. Uh, anyways, and then we're gonna go ahead and do else. So if the you know if the winner's not equal to nil, then we're gonna do status dot text is equal to winner, and then got the most votes. Right? Uh, makes sense. All right, perfect. Now that's the whole script. That's everything. You're done. Uh, so now all we're gonna do is go ahead and hit that play button up top and see if this bad boy works. 
And I hope I didn't mess anything up. I probably did, honestly, because well, odds are when you type that much code, you mess something up. Uh, so it was a tie vote again. Okay, perfect. All right, eight seconds left to vote. Seven seconds left to vote. Five seconds left to vote. Let's go ahead and pick something. Uh, this one is right here. And then here we go. And then, oh, oh, oh also, my bad. Uh, okay, I messed up uh, clearly there. I forgot to rename this. <laughs> uh, definitely rename these two, uh, you know, whatever they're supposed to be. This one's obviously pad one. Uh, this one, make that pad three, or pad two, sorry. And then this one should be pad, oh crap, pad three, perfect. All right, and then we're gonna go ahead and hit play and that should work now. Also, it said it was a tie up there, but oh wait, one thing I need to do just two real quick. Go ahead and hit stop again, and then uh, go to your time left right here. Actually, let's go ahead and make that like 15, just so that way when the server loads, we can actually load that in with it. So yeah, that's good. All right, so go ahead and make that 15, and then, all right, perfect. All right, so as you can see here, 12 seconds left to vote, 11 seconds left to vote, 10 seconds left to vote, nine seconds left to vote, seven, six and then we'll pick one we'll pick pad one we'll step off of it uh and it should say pad one is the winner so pad two got the most votes now why did it say that i do not know but uh that's that's the part that's the beauty of scripting boys that is the beauty of scripting uh let's figure this out so <laughs> wait a minute okay so we calculated the winner okay return pad mm, pads equal to i um Okay, so if v is equal to highest, then highest is equal to v. Pad is equal to i. Hmm, that really should have worked. I'm I'm honestly kind of confused right now. That really should have worked. Did I mess something up? Okay, let's, we can do. You know what we can do? We can uh, debug a little bit. And this is the beauty of debugging, boys. How, this is, if you guys are scripters. You know this is what happens when you script, okay? This is this is just how it works, guys. It, if you want to be a scripter, you're gonna have base a lot of bugs, and you're gonna have to fix them. It, it's that is is just like that, all right? It's the probably the least enjoyable part of scripting, but hey, it's it's what you gotta deal with if you want to be a scripter. It's the price you gotta pay, I guess. All right, and now my studio is crashing. That's also another price you gotta pay. Your studio will crash for no reason. Why? I don't know, but it is. So. Awesome, 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 awesome. All right, um, I'm gonna have to make a cut here in a second, but come on now, C can you can you please stop? Uh, there you go. All right, so as you can see here, let's go ahead and check one thing and see what the value is for the votes over here uh, in the workspace. Voting system, pad one, it's all equal to zero. And then I step on pad one. All right, that's good. Pad two got the most votes. Um, okay, now how did that happen? Because pad two is less than pad one. All right, so my algorithm is probably wrong. Let me give me one second. Let me see something. Um, what did I do wrong here? Return pad. Pad two the votes. Hmm. If V is greater than highest, all right, wait, well, you know, I know what we can do. Let's go ahead and print out V and see what they're getting because it should ma it doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense, boys. Um, and it, I hate how it takes so long to load, bro. Come on now. Um, this, this is the beauty of scripting though, guys. I'm telling you, it's, it's, it's the life. It's the life. All right, now come on now. All right, so there you go. Once it calculates, it should say... Uh, what happened there? So just wait a couple seconds. So I think there's a vote, and obviously, as you can see, you can change your vote here. All good and dandy. Um, and then it printed out it was a tie, so it definitely was not a tie. Um, so what we're gonna do is actually go ahead and print out V again here. All right. So there's something wrong, I think, with here. But I, I might have assigned this wrong. Oh, yep. And you guys are calling me an idiot in the comments. Call me an idiot. Call me an idiot. Call me an idiot. <sighs> All right. Well. Um, as you guys can probably see, you probably already saw it. I know, I know, I'm stupid. All right, just just say it, comment right now. Just just do it. Um, basically, what I, what I did wrong, if you guys couldn't tell already, I forgot to change the name of this. 
don't mess that up, guys. Just, just, just don't mess it up, okay? Uh, if you ever error in your script, that's probably also the issue. You probably forgot to change the name or something. Go proofread your things. This is another price you have to pay when you're a scripter, okay? I, I, it's the life of scripting, okay? I, I'm sorry. All right, anyways, as you can see now, it should work just fine. Let's go ahead and do this works. 12 seconds left, 11 seconds left, 10 seconds left. Let's go ahead and vote for one. Hmm, I pick, I pick you, pad two. There we go. We got one vote on there. And obviously, like I said, guys, it'll work with your friends if you want that to happen as well. As you can see, pad two got the most votes. It, it works, boys. Round of applause. R round of applause. Just beautiful. Beautiful. All right. Uh, <laughs> pad one. And we'll try it out just to make sure you know it all works. No, I don't want to make sure it's, I'll make sure it's good. And as you can see, Pat one got the most votes. All right. That's it, boys. GG. GG in the chat. That's the end of the game. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, if you guys did, leave a like, subscribe. It does take me a little while to make these videos, so I would appreciate that. Um, and you guys will learn a lot. You will learn a lot if you subscribe. I promise you will. Also, leave a like. It tells me that you enjoy these videos. All right. Anyways, guys, that's it. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.